हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट हब सो दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज इंटाइटल्ड ऑन क्वासी रेजोनेंट मोड ऑफ फ्लाईबैक कन्वर्टर एज एज यू कैन सी सो इन द लास्ट टू वीडियोज वी हैव अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द डिसकंटिन्यूअस कंडक्शन मोड ऑफ फ्लाईबैक कन्वर्टर देन देन द वैली स्विचिंग ऑफ flyback converter right and in this video we are going to understand about the quasi resonant mode of flyback converter okay so both valley switching and quasi resonant mode are types of discontinuous conduction mode right all right so let us get started right so you can see here this is quasi resonant mode right the the Q, qr stands for quasi resonant mode of flyback converter in this it is also a type of discontinuous conduction mode okay so it is also called sometime called critical conduction mode or crcm right crcm so it is also called critical conduction mode and it is also called transition mode that is tm tm you can see here this is tm tm stand for transition mode and it is also called critical conduction mode crccm right so let us understand what happens in quasi resonant mode okay what happens in quasi resonant mode so you can see here this is the drain to source voltage this is the secondary current and this is the primary current okay so you can see this is the on time this is d d mag that means magnetizing demagnetizing time and this is small here you can see dead time so t of time is made of t demagnetizing time plus t dead time and t on plus t off is equal to t switching that means switching period so you can see here you can see here this is the first belly this is the first belly and in the quasi resonant mode the the valley switching on the very first resonant valley you can see here so we will understand more in detail more detail in the upcoming slide how how this quasi resonant mode works in for the flyback converter okay so guys if you haven't watched last two videos that was in the quasi that was in the in the discontinuous conduction mode and valley switching mode i would highly recommend to watch go and watch the active video before watching this video right so that video will give you some insight some understanding okay so please go and watch that video okay so let us get started here this is quasi resonant and quasi resonant operation is specific valley switching operating mode of dcm where the switching occurs on the very first and deepest resonant valley you can see here you can see here your switching of next cycle occurs very first and deepest valley if you if you know after this is the very first valley and it is also a deepest valley that means since it is a deepest value that means your drain to source voltage is low here so if the drain to source voltage is low you have lower switching losses so in the quasi resonant mode if you compare it to the valley switching mode in the valley switching mode uh, it was working in frequency modulation mode so in the frequency modulation your switching can happen at any value any value unless and until your controller will able to sense the value but in the quasi resonant mode what is the advantages of quasi resonant mode over the valley switching so in the quasi resonant mode your your switching happens in the very first and deepest valley point okay so the quasi resonant operation is specific valley switching operating mode of dcm where the switching occurs on the very first and deepest resonant valley qr that means quasi resonant delivers the maximum amount of power by adjusting both peak current 
and the switching frequency to turn on the MOSFET at the at the first resonant value for minimum losses. So, so quasi resonant controllers operate in amplitude modulation as well as frequency modulation at the same time to meet the demands of energy transfer. So quasi resonant modes work in the amplitude modulation as well as frequency modulation. So in the discontinuous conduction mode for the fixed switching frequency it was working in AM then valley switching was working in FM to overcome uh, overcome the problem of both mode this quasi resonant mode came in the picture which works in both amplitude modulation and frequency modulation to meet the demands energy demands of the loads right all right so so quasi resonant controller will decrease the switching frequency as the load increases this is just the opposite of of the frequency fold back mentioned earlier in the value switching okay so it's a just opposite of opposite of the value switching mode okay so now let us understand what is the advantages and disadvantages of quasi resonant mode so because qr mode converter because of quasi resonant mode converter switch at the lowest strain to source voltage they achieve the lowest possible switching losses and have high efficiency over the entire operating range because because this is a soft switching converter only a small emi filters are needed here okay okay so what is the disadvantages of a quasi resonant mode qr converter are difficult to compensate due to wide peak current and switching frequency ranges as you understood since it works with both am amplitude modulation and frequency modulation so it has wide primary peak current and it uh, it has also wide switching frequency ranges so it is very difficult to design a to design a com to compensate this to design a control loop for quasi resonant mode and it may need it needs considerable amount of phase margin is required to maintain the stability over the entire operating range okay so guys now at least hope you understood in the last three videos about what is the discontinuous mode for fix frequency what is the valley switching mode and now today you have understood what is the quasi resonant mode if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video